today's video is going to be my January favorites. Thank God, thank God it's February. Thank God. Every year we like to pretend like January never happened and I'm with you, I, I hear you. Let's pretend January never happened. I am still trying to figure out my lighting. I'm sorry if I look shadowy. I'm still trying to get the hang of this new room, figure out my setup, like how I want my lights because I am struggling with my lighting, so bear with me. Also, those cords underneath that desk, they bother me too. But anyway, welcome to my January favorite on my swivel chair. Obviously, you guys know January was a really, really rough month for me. December was also was also rough, but especially January, and I didn't really wear that much makeup in the month of January. I mean, I did. I wore makeup throughout the entire month, but I wasn't really trying new products. I wasn't testing new things, trying new techniques. I was just pretty much doing the bare minimum. So I don't have super exciting things to share with you guys this month. I almost didn't film this video, to be completely honest with you. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I've talked about the majority of these products a bunch of times, so I'm not gonna do it. But then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> it's a tradition here on my channel. How am I not gonna do a favorites video? Even if I talk about three things. I, I gotta tell you my favorites. Some of these are kind of new, but most of these are oldies but goodies. Okay, I need a new chair. Just kidding, I love this chair. I love it. Look at this color. Look at this color with that little yellow, this little teal. I love it. Oh my god, I want to do this all day. By the way, this isn't going to be my only setup. This isn't going to be my only background. Once I get my new mirror installed, like here at my vanity, I'll be filming with this desk behind me on my cat chats couch. I am gonna switch it up a bit, but I'm still not 100% done with this room, that's why. Anyway, so my first favorite. <laughs> I have been wearing the Anastasia Amrizi palette every single day since I got it in the mail, and that's mainly because I packed away all of my eyeshadow palettes when I was reorganizing this room. The only palette I kept out was my So Jaded palette. Everything else was tucked away in a box, and so when I got this in the mail, I was like, ooh, that's fun, I wanna play with that, and I have been using it ever since. And mine is a little... <laughs> Mine is a little damaged. The shade Gorgina, Leo, and Reezy, they kind of died on me, which is such a bummer because I really, really love those shades. It's actually making me want to go on Sephora and buy this palette because I really want those three eyeshadows. But besides that, this palette is really, really nice. At first, when I saw it online, I was like, oh, that looks really pretty, but I wasn't like, wow, blown away. It wasn't until I got it in person and I was swatching all of these shades and really feeling the textures and the different finishes. It's then when I realized that this palette is pretty unique. Like, I'm sure I have a bunch of these shades in other palettes no doubt but the story that they tell when they're all together in this palette is just so beautiful I love how they pair with one another I truly love every shade in this palette I think it's absolutely stunning the bottom row is my favorite these five eyeshadows right here even this purple one these mattes right here incredible I wear OG every single day OG is the shade I'm wearing all over my lid and then I have 1988 on the outer corners and a little bit of BK like right at my lash line. Looks like this are my absolute favorite looks to do when it's like really chocolatey and super sultry and kind of blended a little harshly and grungy. I, I love, looks like that. I feel like it just makes your eye color pop so much, whether you have brown eyes or blue eyes. When you wear these really deep, warm, chocolatey shades, they just really bring out the eyes. So I've been enjoying the mattes in this palette so much and these shimmers are really nice as well. I'm wearing Anastasia on my inner corners right now and I just really, really love this palette. I think Anastasia eyeshadows are really nice. They're very pigmented. They're easy to blend and I like it. I really, really like it and I really like Emrazy too. This palette did not disappoint me. Just saying. So besides my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue concealer that I keep raving about, I've recently been using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer and I really like this. I started using this because, I mean, I pulled it out of my makeup collection like I told you. I just grabbed a bunch of random things and took it downstairs to Bertha. So, <laughs> Bertha is my old vanity, by the way, that I refuse to get rid of. She's gonna be with me. Till the end of time. And I actually do my makeup every day at Bertha now. <laughs> I go downstairs and I do my makeup at my vanity. And so when I was redoing this room, obviously I couldn't do my makeup in here. So I just picked out a couple things and took them downstairs. And this was one of the concealers I picked out. I don't know why I just grabbed it. And I've been using it every single day. And what I love so much about this is that it doubles as a foundation for me. It has such a lightweight, such a thin consistency. The texture of this is so liquidy. It has like a barely there finish, which is why I love it as foundation as well. I kind of dot it underneath the eyes and then dot it on the rest of my face and then blend it in with a brush. And it blends in so beautifully it has such a seamless finish and it does have really nice coverage it's not full coverage it's not like the Jouer one or my dose of colors one or a Tarte shape tape it has a little bit less coverage than that but it's so thin and lightweight it looks so beautiful on the skin it doesn't look like you're wearing any concealer at all in fact 
it's very very nice and of course if you do want more coverage you can build it up you can do a couple layers and it does give you the coverage you want it also looks absolutely beautiful in photos and like I said I've worn this as a foundation and I've taken a photo and it looks great I really really have been enjoying this and I have mine in the shade 21 Tiny man. <laughs> this is another one of those Makeup Forever concealer situations. I've had this blush in my collection for a long time now, but I pulled it out. I've been keeping it at Bertha and I've been using it every single day and I love this blush so much. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the, in the shade Vintage Rose. I feel like I've spoken about this in a favorites video months and months and months ago when it first came out, but I just started using it again and I fell in love with it all over again. This is such a beautiful shade. I can't even describe what this color is because it is rosy, but it has a little bit of peachiness in there as well. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a pinky orange and that peachiness really shines through when it's on your face. Like when you start to blend this out on the cheeks, it has like that sunshiny undertone. <laughs> I'm really bad at describing things. I don't know how I have a YouTube channel. But it almost looks sun-kissed on the cheeks like it has that pinky rosy shade But there's something about it that looks so warm and yummy and I just I love how this looks on the cheeks I love the formula the texture is awesome, and it feels very very creamy. I freaking love it It's matte, but not really and it doesn't look matte on the skin at all. It has a very soft glow But it's not a sheen. It's like a matte glow. I don't know you get me It's good. The only thing I don't like about these blushes are the packaging. It's like very thick and bulky, but so good. Okay, same goes for this bronzer. <laughs> I wanted to mention these three products even though I've spoken about them a ton, but I've been using them a ton recently. This is the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Sun Stalker Bronzer, specifically in the shade Shady Biz. I've been using it like crazy. I mentioned this in a recent video, but I love this bronzer because it looks flawless when you don't have any foundation on. Sometimes certain bronzers will only work on your skin or they will only show up on your skin if you're wearing foundation because it has something to stick to. This bronzer looks really nice just on bare skin. Obviously you have to build it up a little bit more, but it builds really nicely and it looks really smooth. It doesn't look like you have patches of bronzer on your face, which sometimes can be the case when you're not wearing foundation because you don't have like a smooth canvas. So sometimes your bronzer will look weird. This bronzer doesn't do that. It has such a nice like creamy consistency that it blends really nicely on the skin. It's just so, so smooth, such a smooth bronzer. And it's very similar to my Physicians Formula blush in the sense that it's matte, but it's not drying. It's like a creamy matte, which is why it's so easy to blend out on the skin and it looks really nice. This is the bronzer I'm wearing on my face right now. I only applied a little bit of this and plus these lights are washing me out. I look like Casper the friendly ghost right now. I almost said Casper, right? You caught that? I almost said Casper. But honestly, before I put this bronzer on, I looked even Casperier, okay? I looked extremely pale. This shade specifically makes me look so warm and yummy. I love this bronzer so much, been using it so much. And now I want to talk about some lip products because the only category I have been experimenting in this past month is in the lip category. And not even experimenting. <laughs> but I have been testing out a couple things. Like I said, these days I haven't been wearing much makeup. So when it comes to my lips, I've honestly just been throwing on a lip liner and then putting anything on my lips. Like throwing anything on top of it. And recently it's been the Smashbox Mindful 5 Nourishing Lip Oil. I've been keeping this in my purse. And I've been using this specifically because it is a nourishing lip product. It's like a lip balm but it's also shiny so it's I mean, it's a lip oil <laughs> but a lot of the times like for example when I would leave my house and I would leave in a rush I would um, put on lip liner and then I would want to throw a clear gloss on top but I never wanted to use a lip gloss because I wanted something that was also nourishing something that was gonna help my chapped lips <laughs> and so I discovered this little guy and it was kind of like a twofer for me it was a little hybrid it gave my lips some nice shine but it was also helping my lips and nourishing my lips and don't get me wrong this isn't like a full-on lip gloss it doesn't give your lips like a juicy wet Wow mm -hmm. Situation, but it gives your lips a little bit of shine. So if they're a little bit chapped, you know it it helps conceal that. And I also really, really enjoy the texture of this. It's a lip oil, but it's not oily on the lips. It's not like slippy. Have you ever tried the YSL lip oils? I used to really like those in the past, but I find them to be a little bit too oily for me. I like something that's a little bit thicker and has a little bit more hold, and this guy does. And it has a bunch of really good things in it as well. It has cannabis, sativa, hemp seed oil, chamomile, jojoba oil, sunflower oil, apricot oil, things that are really great for your skin, for your lips. And I have just been really enjoying this. I wanted to mention it because it's been living in my purse and I have been throwing this on top of a bunch of lip liners Like no matter what lip liner I wear fill in my lips a little bit with it and then throw this on top And then I will just reapply throughout the day. I love it. Okay, so I kind of feel the same way about this guy 
Kind of, not really. <laughs> but this is the Glossier Generation G lipstick in the shade Leo. And I really like this lipstick because it's a really nice deep brown shade, but it's a very sheer brown. It's one of those colors that you really have to build. Like this is one swipe of it and look at how it looks in the tube. You have to build this up. Like you have to rub it on your lips like a million times to get that deep color. And even then it still remains a really nice sheer brown, which I love because like I said, it's just so easy to throw on. I'll just overdraw my lips a little bit, put on my lip liner because I can't even, I can't go anywhere without lip liner anymore. Like the thought of me not wearing lip liner, I can't, I cannot, I can't. But I'll throw on a little bit of lip liner and then I'll just like, pat this all over my lips and it looks like I have a little something but it looks so natural like it looks like my lips are naturally that color and so I really really like the finish of this lipstick it's super comfortable it wears really nicely I do have to reapply throughout the day but it fades really beautifully because it is so sheer it's just a really nice texture the formula is awesome the only thing I don't like is the scent oh my god this stinks I hate the scent in fact I hate it I don't know why I would picture Glossier to have a lipstick that smells like a flower desert garden like a like a desert storm or something, but what the hell is a desert storm? I don't know. But that smells like chemicals, like really strong chemicals to me. And I don't know if it's because, like, honestly, I don't even know. I don't know what I was gonna say, but I don't know what it is, but I don't, I don't like the scent. It lingers a little bit as I'm applying it, but then it goes away, so I really don't mind. But I just wanted to mention that in case you are scent sensitive like me. Okay, so this lip color is an honorable mention. It's actually the lipstick, the lipstick I'm wearing on my lips right now. I was wearing this lipstick in what video? It was a recent video. I was on my on my couch. What was my recent cat chats? All right, it was my um, I needed some time video where I said that I was gone and that I was back but then I wasn't back and then I left for like another month. Yeah, that video. I was wearing this lipstick in that video and I got so many comments and questions from you guys asking me what was on my lips. I was kind of shocked. I did not expect so many people asking me what my lip color was and it was this. And I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, oh, damn it. Because <laughs> that's expensive. It's a Pat McGrath lipstick. So this for sure is over $35. I wanna say it's like a $38 lipstick, which is Crazy, I know, and I didn't think I was gonna love it so much because it has like straight up glitter in this lipstick But it reminds me so much of a lipstick. I loved in high school I used to wear a uh, Mac fresh Moroccan all the time And that is like a terracotta red lipstick with a bunch of gold glitter in it And I wore it all the time in Canta la vida Sin problema all the time. And then when I got this in the mail, I'm not sure if I bought this or if Pat McGrath sent it to me. I'm pretty sure she sent it to me, but when I got it in the mail and I was looking at it, it reminded me so much of like a modern, less crazy, <laughs> fresh Moroccan. And I just fell in love with it. I started wearing it so much. I've been wearing this for a couple months now and I just wanted to share with you guys. And my favorite way to apply this is actually like really lightly. I just like gently tap this on my lips. I'll put a lip liner on and then gently tap this on my lips. And the gold sparkle just shines through so nicely. It kind of makes your lips look shinier than they are your lips like don't look stupid you know what I mean like it doesn't look like you have a glitter explosion on your lips like don't think of metallic lips it doesn't look like that at all actually let me zoom you in so you can see it's more of like a subtle glittery shine that just looks so freaking beautiful and I just love this color like the base shade is so beautiful the sparkle is just like the cherry on top <laughs> I was about to read the description for you guys like the shade description and this lipstick is $40 Oh my god, that's oh, that expensive. But it is a glitter bronze terracotta nude with rose gold sparkle. Doesn't that sound freaking beautiful? If you're in the market to spend an arm and a leg on a lipstick, I highly recommend this one. And I think this whole collection was like limited edition. And honestly, I just want to mention, when you are purchasing Pat McGrath, a lot of your money is going towards the packaging. She has the most incredible packaging. There's a couple things that, like for example, that primer, her primer that comes in like the most basic ass packaging ever and it's super, super expensive. I'm so sorry, that was so mean. That's, I didn't mean it like that, Pat. There's a couple things that I'm like, mm, your packaging could have been better there, but the majority of your packaging is so luxurious that honestly, you're not just paying for the product. You're also paying for like this incredible packaging. So keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, we are almost done here, folks. How do I not have that much to talk about and yet we're at like the 30 minute mark? I don't know. Okay. So while I was organizing this whole room and decluttering and taking things out, I discovered this little guy. I actually discovered a little replica trio and this was one of them. And oh my gosh, I completely fell in love with this. This is a perfume from the brand Replica, like I just said, but this one is called Sailing Day. And it is definitely a summer scent, 100% the perfect scent for summer. 
I mean, it's called sailing day. Oh my God. This is hands down by far besides JLo Miami Glow. But this is hands down by far the best summery, beachy, suntan scent I have ever come across. Forget about all the ones I've ever mentioned in the past, besides <laughs> JLo Miami Glow. This one beats them all. Oh my gosh. You know what it is? Okay. Sometimes those beachy scents like Estee Lauder Goddess, um, Beach from, which brand? Be Bobby Brown Beach. You know what I'm talking about. Scents like that, usually they're not very sweet. This has like a little hint of sweetness. I don't know what it is. It has like that beachy, delicious suntan essence, but there's a little bit of sweet in there that just, oh my God, it just smells so good and it works so well with my body chemistry. I really, really love it. And I love to pair this with other scents, believe it or not. This one specifically in Sailing Day just meshes really well with other scents in my collection. And I usually do not mix scents. It's like a big no-no for me unless I'm like wearing Jo Malone or something. But I have been mixing this in with a couple other sweet scents in my collection and I love it. I love it. I love how they smell together. So I just wanted to mention sailing day because even though it's not the summertime, I can't stop wearing it. Okay, my next favorite <laughs> is a hand sanitizer. And not just any hand sanitizer, the best hand sanitizer ever. So this is from a brand called Touchland and I actually bought this on Ulta. I had never heard of this brand before. They have a ton of different scents on Ulta, but I picked this one up because it was the aloe vera scented one and oh my God, first of all, it doesn't smell anything like aloe vera, but I'm so glad that I got this one because this one smells incredible. I bought three other ones since falling in love with this one and this one is still my favorite. I got the orange one and then I got the, like the orange one is the citrus one and then I got the vanilla one. This one is still the best one. This smells like a man. Like after you're done spraying this on your hands, it lingers on your hands and you know what? Let me, let me just, oh, did I mention it's a spray? That's literally my favorite thing about it. Oh, this smells so good. It smells like a sexy man. And it honestly lingers on your hands. Like when you're done, oh my gosh. I do smell the aloe vera a little bit. It smells so freaking good and I love that it's a spray. Honestly, that's my, my favorite thing about it. Obviously, these days more than ever, I feel like I am really trying not to get sick. I recently had a cold. I'm, just, I'm not trying to get sick, so I've been spraying my hands with hand sanitizer like every single day, especially going to the hospital so much. So I had discovered this and completely fell in love with it. The scent is great. I mean, it, it does what it's supposed to. I know it's a random thing to mention in my favorites video, but if you're ever shopping on Ulta, I highly recommend you get these. They're, first of all, they're so cute. They're sprays and they smell good. And last but not least, I have to mention February's CO box. I know that we just got into February and I actually don't even have the box with me to share with you guys. I'm, a, I'm gonna go pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> but this month is butterfly themed. If you are into butterflies as much as I am, check out the new CO bag this month. It's gonna blow you away, it's amazing. I'm actually wearing um, a CO necklace right now. It's her new butterfly necklace. I mentioned another butterfly necklace in a recent favorites video, but she just got these. And I honestly think this one is my favorite. It has like the little butterfly here and the little butterfly here. It's adorable. And I just love it, I just had to mention it. I wanted to mainly show you this necklace, but it reminded me that this month, CO has a butterfly box. So if you want to check it out and save some money at CO, you definitely can. But that completes this video, guys. These were all the products I was loving in the month of Feb January. January? Look at me already pretending like January wasn't a thing. But anyway, guys, that's it. Don't forget to let me know what your favorite product was this month, this past month. And if I haven't checked it out before, maybe I will. Oh, I'm getting rusty at these outros, but that completes this video, guys. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> oh, I feel like I was just talking so fast right there. Like, I was talking too much and too fast. More coffee then? <laughs> but they have... Oh, my dog farted. But they have a ton of different scents. Uh, oh my God. Order esta. Podrío, mi hermano. Trying to get it out of my nostrils.